We're here at the Rose Theater on stage, actually before the performance tonight with the Canadian tenors. Welcome to the Rose Theater. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about uh, the beginning. I guess it was Jill Ann Siemens, right? Mm -hmm. Who's a Victoria composer and yes. pianist. Mm -hmm. oh, she, yes. It was actually her vision to bring the four of you together. Um, tell me, tell me about, a bit about how she, she approached you and what you were being pulled away from and what was kind of the deciding factor for you to join the Canadian Tenors. <laughs> Well, uh, about two years ago, uh, she kind of called all of us, and uh, we were all in different musical professions. Yeah. Uh, Remigio here was doing concerts and operas around Europe and yeah. North America. Um, Fraser Walters was uh, in The Lord of the Rings, and before that he was with uh, a Grammy Award-winning a group called Chanticleer from mm -hmm. San Francisco. Yeah. And I was with the Canadian Opera Company. Right. And Jamie wasn't there yet. Right. <laughs> I know that. Uh, You're the newest member. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we. Different story. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, if you asked us about two and a half years ago if we'd be interested in a project like this, we, we would probably have said no. Right. Uh, but the first day that we met and sang with each other, there was something there, and and we felt there was some promise to this project. Yeah. And so it sparked an interest, and we continued. Mm -hmm. And thank God, because we're having a great time, and things are really rolling now. Great. Uh, unfortunately, we, we did have another member, and it didn't quite work out, so yeah. we had to go searching for uh, another member. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when Fraser Walters Fraser Walters, I keep on saying your last name. Fraser Walters. Fraser Walters. Walters. Fraser. We all we all look through through our connections. I, I went in my opera circles, and uh, yeah. and Fraser went through his musical theater circles, and we found Jamie. He was at Stratford Theater, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So there there we go, and that's how we all we plucked him from Stratford. That's yes. it. Yes. So I hear. <laughs> So now it, it took a while to get the right combination. Now, what makes the four of you now the right combination? Is there any way you can put that into words? Anyone? Walters, Fraser? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's an interesting dynamic. I think everybody brings something uh, very distinct to the group. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's the colors of voices and, and personalities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Victor's got a very robust sound and I almost kind of look at him as the foundation, really, of the group. Mm -hmm. um, and we all offer, you know, different colors. So, uh, you know, Remigio's got this beautiful dark color that I just could never come close to recreating. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, Jamie's got a beautiful, sweet, more sort of lends itself to, to the pop kind of side of things in musical theater. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I love folk music and, and uh, you know, just more maybe ethereal the melodies. Ease of phrasing that there we just go. cannot match. <laughs> there you go. So everyone has something special, I think, that they that they bring, bo both in character, mm -hmm. um, but also character and timbre. And I think those colors together are what make this group really sort of uh, stand out. Now, I, 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 off I also read that you consider yourselves like brothers now. Yeah. Do you uh, do you spend a lot of time doing things on your downtime? Kind Brotherly of stuff. Brotherly <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we don't have very much downtime actually. We've no. been we've been um, going ever since basically in like last February nonstop. Um, we've we've been to Africa. We've uh, performed um, with the likes of David Foster. And once you start hitting some of those things, so many things start happening. Yeah. Uh, for you afterwards that we haven't had it even. You know, a chance to have a vacation yet. So, mm -hmm. um, we are we are like brothers. We travel all the time. This is pretty much family for us. I mean, I've seen my mom once in the past three months, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it's just uh, we're just lucky that we all get along so yeah. easily, and uh, because we spend so much time together. But um, yeah, it's just uh, you know, labor of love type of thing. You know, mm -hmm. that's what we do. Yeah, it's great. 
Okay, I'm going to ask you some individual questions now about your backgrounds. So I'll start with you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> now, you started your musical career as, was it a boy soprano? Yeah. In the yeah. children's chorus? Yeah, which, similar to your phrase, I think. Yeah. We both sang in choirs as mm -hmm. a kid. Mm -hmm. I was in Toronto, the Canadian Children's Opera Chorus. Yeah. And, and how uh, long? They're going to be on our album. Oh. <laughs> Who are they? Yeah, or no, they're singing Silent no. Night. iTunes. Uh, oh, iTunes. iTunes. Silent Night, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, our I single. don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I started with the Canadian Children's Opera Chorus. And how long were you in that? I think four years, four or five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it went on to what? Like, were you basically groomed, kind of, for this position, or, um, or did your career happen organically? I think it was kind of more organic. I, yeah. I remember I, I, I took piano because my sister took piano, yeah. and my piano teacher apparently told my mom, oh, your son's singing while he's playing. <laughs> he should maybe audition for a choir. So that's how I got into this choir. Yeah. And what I, I think what I really loved about singing in the choir was being able to be in these big COC operas because often they pull up a few of the kids yeah. in, uh, within, the little, uh, within the choir to be in the big COC operas. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, wow, this is really wicked. Yeah. And so I just kind of organically followed that. And you've done a lot of musical theater, right? Uh, mostly, my, most of my experience is musical theater. Yeah. yeah. So what would you consider some of your favorite roles that you've played? Um, oh, man. <laughs> oh, I... Annie. Annie. <laughs> Any, no, I like I like being in these shows. That, I was in a lot of kids shows. It's uh, the brother things That's happening. Oh, yeah. There you go. Second Annie. We'll have to keep it. Uh, anyways, what Clean? I'm saying is, is that what you're trying to say? PG. Uh, I was I, in a lot of kids shows. Oft, every year at uh, the what is it? The Elgin Theater. Ross Petty produces these kids yeah. shows. They're pantomimes. Yeah. It's like a British type of theater. Mm -hmm. And I love doing that because just I love. The reaction of the little kids. Mm -hmm. So that was great. Love that. One was Aladdin, one was Snow White, and the group of seven. Mm -hmm. um, and it was in uh, The Producers, which is a big. Oh, you know, I love musical. that. It was here. It was here. It was so funny. Yeah, it was nice. here. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was like one of the funniest shows yeah. I've ever, ever. I think it's funny. Seen, ever. <laughs> it didn't run for that long in Toronto, but it was fun to just be in a big money musical where there's so much money and it was a great cast and everyone was. Cool. That mm -hmm. was one of the and what uh, what production were you in at Stratford before uh, you got pulled out? Oh, okay. Before they stole me. Yeah. Uh, was King Lear and mm -hmm. Oklahoma <laughs> basically the same show? <laughs> <laughs> There's not really yeah, a lot of difference. No, yeah. Pretty, pretty much the very same. Yeah. <laughs> so it was cool to be have that variety. Yeah. Be close to these amazing actors and then be able to dance in the musical. Now, do you have time to do any acting on the side this now? This is a full-time job. Yeah, yeah this is like, at first it was like being flipped, turned upside down. At first it was, I was terrified. I mean, like anyone would be. Yeah. Just standing and singing. Mm -hmm. And you're so exposed. There's, it's less forgiving, I find, where in yeah. a musical you're doing so much else. Yeah. And here you're like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. So No pressure there. None, None at all. <laughs> and studio is new for me. I mean, it's new for all, all, everyone. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, and now I'm getting the hang of it. And it's been amazing. I mean, these guys, whatever, it's just so, they're monstrous musicians. And we learn from each other, so mm -hmm. they've been a great help. 